In this video, my wife and I head back to the University of Oklahoma where I played football and she played softball. I'm used to actually playing in the football game, which makes for a whole different experience, but this is the first time I'll be sitting in the stands as a viewer. Please enjoy the video. Pretty early before the game, and this is where the regular tailgating goes on, but for this presidential tailgating, where is it? At the president's house. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Since my wife won her third national championship, we'll also get a look at their exclusive tailgating before the game. It's on the other side of campus, near Campus Corner, so we're walking through campus right now. What's up, hang gang? What's, what's your name? Carter. Nice, bro. Well, have a blessed day. Good run into you. You too. <laughs> Perfect. Right. Should I go in, in a <laughs> year? Or you a should have went in Bucky's. Right. There is Dunham. Hang gang, comment down below if you watched my vlogs when I was in Dunham. Did you, Gracie? Yeah. We actually did some vlogs together. The kid just punted it. What's up, bro? I watch your YouTube all the time. Really? Yeah. You're on it right now. What up, hang gang? I, I saw you punting. Can I get one punt? Yeah. All right, my wife's going to record okay. it. Wait, first I'll see you. Hey! Nice, bro. Have him try to catch it. Yours. That was a perfect spiral. Actually, I don't know if I can compete with this. Yeah, you gotta catch it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so let's go. There's a palace. Big Christian in the cut. What up, bro? What up? Nice, bro. You're on the vlog. Great catch. What up, bro? Good stuff. Let's go. Hey, can I get pictures? Yeah. And that was on the vlog. I got his touchdown on the vlog. Whoa, this is like Inception. Let's see if he... Oh! Thanks, bro. God bless. Fight the good fight. Bro. I made you a while back. All state. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. Trust the Lord. Miami Dolphin need you. Hey, thanks, bro. Yeah, so apparently, I didn't know that the band comes to here. That's pretty cool. Shout out to the OU band. Let's go. See you guys. Hey, what time is it? 2.17? 2.17. <laughs> what instrument is that? It's a melophone. Are you able to play it right now or no? Yeah. Alright, just, just a small, just something small tune. <laughs> nice, bro. Like that. that was lit. Good stuff. Yep. Hey, get in the sponsorship, guys. Thanks, bro. A lot of uh, police out here. We're on campus corner, guys. My house was down there. We had, we had plenty of dates here. We did. Or if you don't want to call them yeah, dates. she didn't really qualify them as dates, but we sure did. Campus Corner is basically a spot on campus that has restaurants and also a lot of bars for people who party on the weekends. But there's some cool shops too where you can get some nice merch. Operation Find Gracie a blanket. <laughs> That's gonna be expensive. Maybe they'll give it to you for free since it's your third national championship you're celebrating Maybe. too. You gotta, you gotta at least ask, okay? No, that's kind of punky. Let's just pay for it. Oklahoma locker room. Yeah. Thank you. All right. I was trying, I was trying to get a seat. Oh wait, wait, wait. Wait, is it up? <laughs> Dude. Why'd you, why'd you grab that? Yo, what up, bro? Wow. It's busy on these streets. Even though I went to OU for two years, I never got to see this side of game day. As a college football player, we were on a very regimented schedule, being in the hotel, making sure that we're on the team bus and in the locker room safely, with really no contact with anybody the entire day before the game. So this is pretty cool to see what goes on. And now we get to see a very exclusive behind the scenes at the president's house on campus because the OU softball team won a national championship, something I've never been able to do. This is the rare president's house, huh? Yeah. Exclusive. Only national champs can get in here. And hanging, I guess. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize this is what it was. Dang. Hi. Uh, are you a Turk now or are you still a lion? That's what lions? we'll see. Uh, hopefully I'm on the floor. Turk. Turk. Yes, great. Let's go. <laughs> In all my years at OU, I never saw what was inside this building, and turns out, it's a really nice spot and a place to do exclusive events like this. So we got some food hung out, and the girls were presented their rings, which they'll also do at halftime during the game. How you doing, Mr. Vernon? Doing good. You're a lot bigger in person. <laughs> what's up, Hannah? Hey, what's up, bro? What's your name? Jackson. <laughs> Congratulations.
congratulations, Grace Turk. I got a gander at the rings again and was also reminiscing on how I didn't get one in college. But thankfully, Grace gave me one of hers. It was really cool seeing all this. Now it's time to go to the game. Hey gang, at this time last year, I was in the locker room getting ready. Oh, you want a Polaroid for five dollars? Uh, sure. All right. Actually, oh wait. Do you have Venmo? Do you want one or not? It's okay. Or if you want. You just crushed his hopes and dreams. I mean, we just took plenty of pictures there. <laughs> Wow. We made it in. And I've been back once for a sideline pass and inside the facilities, but I've never had a seat like this in the bleachers like a normal fan experience. This is my flying for game day. You know I had to check up on the punters as they were warming up pre-game. This is always fun to watch, but I must admit, it's more fun to actually be punting in the warm-up. Okay, here's a fun fact about punters and kickers that you may have not known. The kicking out on the sideline is very important, and I can feel for this guy right here because there's so many people on the field that it's really frustrating when you don't have enough room for your kicking net, and I remember always, before games, having to move people out of the way, and also at away stadiums, I usually got heckled, but I didn't really care because if you're heckling the punter, you are the one with the problem. Once you head back in the locker room, surprisingly as a player, this time went really slow for me and it felt like the game didn't start for another hour. And on a side note, I never knew that there was someone in the band that would sacrifice their back like that, but it was really cool to see and they did a good job. We also stayed inside the locker room during the national anthem, which I didn't like, so it was cool to be out here and sing it. And I actually sat next to a veteran who you'll meet later on in the video. Now it was time for the guys to run out of the locker room, and as a college football player, this is definitely one of the most fun experiences. Okay, I've always wanted to catch a shirt in the stands, and guess what? I had a chance. The guy in front of me tipped it with his fingers. My hand actually never even touched the shirt, but everyone was roasting me for this. Watch. Please, uh, oh, that'd, have been, that'd have been good for the pause. I was pretty upset after. That thing was coming right to my hand. I should have reached over this guy because you can see that his hand touched it first and he didn't even catch it. One thing I want to point out is the most underrated position is the holder. Guys, this is literally all risk, no reward. No one knows who the holder is, but you got to do your job well, otherwise it'll be catastrophic.
Seeing the touchdowns from this view is pretty cool, so that's what I'll show more of before this video ends. We're still at the game. We're here with Trika. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for serving in the Air Force. Thank you. Yes, I'm better my pleasure. Yes. Now that it was halftime, it was time for my wife to go onto the field and receive her rings in front of the crowd. Go get them. Now that it was halftime, it was time for my wife and the rest of the softball team to go on the field and get recognized for being national champs. In case you didn't know, this is quite literally the best team in history in any sport, to be honest, as they went 61 and 1, but the SBs did not give them the best team award for 2023. This is certainly due to the outspoken Christian witness of all the girls on the team that year that talked about Jesus and the mainstream media hates this, but they were obviously the winners. So, congratulations, and our true reward is in heaven. Sure. Show her. You gotta show her. Okay, this light show was really cool, but my only complaint was the song choice was terrible. It should have been high paced and super fun so we could all get crazy, but it was just some yelling, moaning song. The refs started acting up again for throwing out one of our players for doing basically nothing, so here's what they started chanting. Alright, who wants to uh, <laughs> who wants to do the outro or the vlog? Okay. Grace, like, <laughs> Grace, love, peace and mercy. Mm-hmm. <laughs>